Murphy High School from uh, D West. Uh, we love them coming on Fridays, and they sound good. We're going to go out and hear a, a full tune briefly here in a few minutes. Good morning. Good morning. You're uh, Megan, aren't you? Yes. I'm Jack. Nice to meet you, Jack. Good. Thanks for shopping downtown Greenville. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was just looking. Uh, it look at it, 63 degrees oh, outside. It's amazing. Can you believe it's that? the best. Should I go ahead and put the snow tires on the lawnmower? No, because it's going to be 90 on Monday. Oh, sorry. So yeah. actually, it says 87 for Saturday, so mm -hmm. it is warming it's up. It's warming up, but hey, that's yep. okay. That's okay. That's right. we'll, we'll take a little tease here. <clears throat> do one more real hot spurt, and then boom, let's do fall. Because fall starts Monday. Monday, three, you want the time? Yes. 3:50 in the morning, oh. Monday, when oh. you go to work, about eight or nine, it'll be fall. It'll be fall, but that's it'll right. feel like summer. But it's all good because <clears throat> we have a little taste now, and then it'll get cool yeah. again. Yeah. What did so. I say? 87 tomorrow mm -hmm. Man, but we'll fake it yeah we'll, well act like we're comfortable yeah I don't mind that it's you know we have this Carolina has an away game at Missouri yeah in Columbia in Columbia Missouri so that's always a there good time Columbia's. yes so mm -hmm. we for big games that like mm -hmm. obviously we're not gonna travel to We'll rent a big water slide, a little blow-up slide, so all the kids house, can come. For the yard. Yes, and and play in that, and then all the adults can watch the game. Look at that. Instant mm -hmm. babysitter, you just have to inflate it. You just have to, yes. <laughs> and then they have are you ever entertained. Been one of those? I've been in one of those. Oh yeah. It takes some work just to get around in there. I know it's get, exhausting. Uh, it's, yeah. it's exhausting. I wonder if Demarcus <laughs> is exhausting walking around the convention center. He's there yeah. for the big Southern Home and Garden show. Should we check in with him and see what's happening, Jay? Did you find something cool? He looks pretty happy. You yeah. doing okay? Good morning, Jack and Megan. Yes, we are here at the Greenville Convention Center for the Southern Home and Garden Show, which kicks off today about 10 o'clock. It's going to kick off. It runs until 7 tonight, goes until Sunday. It is the largest of these home and garden shows in South Carolina with over 100 vendors, whether you're looking to spruce up your home, add some curtains. I saw some umbrellas over there. Some of the vendors are getting set up here now to get ready for that uh, 10 o'clock opening. So come on by. Uh, admission is low cost. I think it's uh, $7.00. Are for adults, $5 for seniors, kids 12 and under get in for free. Throughout the show, we're going to be checking out some of the vendors that are going to be showing here today to kind of show you some of those things that you can do if you are looking to spruce up your home for fall. Maybe you're looking to build a house. Maybe you just built a house. You're looking for ways to make that better, whether it's flooring, uh, ceiling fans, anything you can think of. I know on a day like today where it's kind of cool, you're not thinking about a ceiling fan, but you know how those southern summers get. Uh, again, we're here at the Southern Home and Garden Show at the Greenville Convention. Center right off of Pleasantburg Drive in Greenville. We're going to check in with you guys a little bit later on to figure out uh, some of the people that are going to be bending here. Jack Roper, I saw a bath fitter. I saw you over there. I'm going to try to get a picture in the tub just because you have to when you see that uh, that legendary sign. Again, live here at the Southern Home and Garden Show at the Greenville Convention Center, Jamarcus Gaston, your Carolina will send things back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, J Man. Thank Very you, cool. Okay, I found a way that you can make $1,300. I could use it right now. Okay, well, you have to watch 13 Stephen King movies. Are they going to pay you to watch them? They are going to pay you. Well, I'll have to watch them to alone watch because <laughs> Miss Mary doesn't watch horror movies. Well, see, that's part of the thing. They want to know, are you watching by yourself? How many times did you I love horror go movies, like this? But I, I can't know. get anybody to watch them with. I'll watch them with you. Maybe we should set it up here. And just stay and, here. And we'll do it. Well, and I love we'll this get, stuff. Yes. I love this stuff. He's a little creepy looking at <laughs> I know. Have you have you seen the new It? It too. With the clown. Uh huh. No. I hadn't either. I saw the remake yeah. like two years ago, and it's kind of like my brother and I's tradition to watch that. So I'm waiting for him to come back into town so we can he go. He likes to be scared. Well, that's kind of what we grew up on. It yeah. like the original It. That was we would scare each other and. Well, you you met my buddy, the doctor, Doctor James, Bill James. Yeah. You know of him? Yeah. Least in Spartanburg, we were cronies growing up, and his daddy ran the local theater. Would so he let y'all in? We, you know, we were free. I mean, yeah. I never had to pay to go see a movie. So uh, we grew up watching uh, cheap uh, horror movies and Dracula, and I'll never forget the scene from one movie. They cut somebody's leg off and they put it in the oven. Oh, gosh. The leg, no, wait, yes. They put the leg in the oven. Yes. It was a cheap film. They came back later to take it out, and it was turned the wrong way. Oh. I'm thinking, somebody should have caught that. You put the leg in one way, mm -hmm. and it came out and the it other came way. out the that other. was still moving. The editors were like, hey, this is all. We, we, we didn't have enough money for Big someone to watch. Big time movies pay people, I think, to find those problems, uh -huh. don't they? Because in so many people nowadays, it's almost funny. You know, you'll be watching, just waiting for well, someone I'll, I'll look to. look for things, don't you? Yeah. I really do. I it's like coffee cups. They never have anything in them, and they go, 
or like the bags, you know, when they come the in luggage. from, oh, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, the luggage is really easy to come in, or when they come in <laughs> from the store and there's all the produce is all piled up all night, so I'm like, that's not how it really looks, yeah. <laughs> that's not it's how fun it to looks. Catch yeah, so well, speaking of food, you know today is National Pepperoni Pizza Day? It is, but everybody doesn't want pepperoni mm -hmm. or just pepperoni. Right. Well, that is our question. We'd love to hear from you on yeah. Facebook. Yeah, y'all go to our Facebook yeah. page and let us know. And also, if you're in the mood for a new rug, maybe some new furniture, you should go check out our friends at um, Rug and Home. They are fantastic. Rugandhome.com is where you can find them. They not only sell amazing rugs that are intentionally worn and distressed, they have great furniture and they are so giving and caring. They give back to so many charities. They even do a three-day health clinic each year in India and remote villages. Rakesh and his team, they're just great people. So go by and check them out in Gaffney and in Asheville. Well, Donna Zell is here and it is Friday, so it must be Furry Friend Friday. Got a beautiful Winston over there. That's a standard poodle, I believe. He's looking outside, looking at the band members. Yes. He's getting ready to get down to a little boogie. We'll on, tell you on about the, on his four legs, I four legs. love it. We'll tell you about Winston when we come back. And don't forget to head over to our Facebook page and answer our question of the day. What do you like on your pizza? Courtesy of Spinks. They provide our question of the day each day for us. Jack took this question to the streets. Here's what y'all had to say. Of course, you know by now, this is National uh, Pepperoni Pizza Day, and I brought uh, kind of a kid's toy right here. And See, right there, I'm going to lose it. But uh, again, we're going to go out and talk to some folks and see how they would make a pizza actually out of something you can eat as opposed to wood. Okay, there it is. Don't eat it. It's made out of wood. <laughs> but it is a pizza, and this is uh, National Pepperoni Pizza Day. What's your name, sir? Uh, Chuck. Chuck. Yes, sir. We'll call you Charles. Okay. Okay. Uh, Chuck is actually hamburger steak, so we'll call you Charles. Okay, that'll be fine. Do you like pizza? I do. Can you make a square meal out of a round pizza? You can. Think about it. <laughs> anyway, I brought one to talk about if you were designing a pizza, what would you put on? My first choice would be pepperoni. Well, that's pe that's wooden pepperoni. See that one right there? Yeah. Do you put those on there, too? I would. What is it? A mushroom. You see it? This is just a little kid's toy. What is that right there? This red thing. and green. They look like peppers. They're peppers. And uh, that little fish that some people put on it. You ever try that? What? I don't like Anch anchovies. No, no. Wonder, wonder what happened to Uncle Joby. I mean, I, <laughs> anchovy <laughs> works. Well, thank you for talking to us. Furnishings for your Carolina are provided by Jeff Lynch. Appliances, electronics, bedding, furniture.